I feel like loser is getting too much hate. Winner story paints loser as the bad guy. But think about it. I'll rephrase winner's story. Winner and loser were best friends and they performed shows together. Eventually winner got overwhelmed by the fame and decided to quit the business while loser continued to pursue his dreams. And loser became more busy with the business. And eventually they just stopped talking. I'm not trying to say winner's the bad one in this situation. It's just that they were being too harsh saying loser's side of the story. Loser still left winner, but loser was probably busy with the amount of fame he had. Then when he joined BFB and onward, which went on for four years, he just couldn't hang out with winner even after BFB since all post slipped contestants just needed a break and loser couldn't just walk over to Southern Goiki since that could be one hell of a long trip. Knowing that in Tapot 8, when Pin is being thrown across the earth, they pass by Fiery and Leafy. They probably haven't gone too far from the desert, so I guess that somewhere else on Earth would be pretty far away, which is probably why we never see any contestants from the FB come over to Tpot. And even if Loser could go to the Tpot area, he might have been hesitant as he would be disturbing the competition. But I understand Winner, they probably assumed that Loser just abandoned them and was just doing shows, plushies, and etc. all this time. I don't even think Winner canonically knows BFB happened, let alone happen for over four years. I hope they meet again during Tpot and Loser will stop being shown as the bad guy. I hope you guys enjoyed my first video in this format. And maybe subscribe, who knows, maybe I'll make a video on something you're interested in. Subscribe to be notified whenever I make a video about something you like. And while you're at it, check out my new project, Pot 9 Gone Wrong. Or this other video YouTube recommends you. Maybe you'll enjoy it. And see you till next time.